what's up so today we are over at the rosedale yard and we are going to be doing a 34 hour reset are you gonna be over here at the yard I know I'm looking rough I know that but anyways we're gonna be doing a 34 hour reset over here at the yard in Dalton Georgia so in this video today we are going to be doing a come along with me and spend a 34 hour reset right now some of the trailers in the yard are kind of parked a little funky but that has nothing to do with me I'm not about to move these trailers around but anyways, we're gonna be doing a 34 hour reset over here on the yard. You guys, what I do on my 34 hour reset. Today we have to clean out the truck. Um, I clean out my truck as much as I can. Just do a deep clean. So whenever I hit the road, my truck is nice, fresh, and clean. Other than cleaning out the truck, we also need to go to Walmart, grab a couple more things for the truck because I'm low on food. Um, I've been out for three weeks. Um, normally I don't stay out for three weeks. I only have food for two weeks So I'm out of food and we also have to take a shower. Here's the truck Let's go on and get in this truck and I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with How'd y'all get in here? You're not supposed to be in here without me, bro. But let's get right into what we're working with. And I'm going to show you guys how dirty this truck really is right now. And then we got to get this clean as fast as possible. So let's go ahead and get it done. All right. So this is going to be the sleeper. As you guys can tell, we got bottles, phone, uh, remote, just junk, headset, beds not made computer bag hoodie safety vest just trash up here well it's not all trash that's air fresheners bread you know what that is i just want to have it more organized than my little snack container i need to reorganize that then look at my refrigerator In the arms of an look at my refrigerator bro this is sad this seat, my passenger seat, is going to be my paperwork seat and my to-go snacks while I'm driving. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's dirt all over the floor. Dirt on my uh, foot rug, towel. And then my floor is also dirty. So we need to go ahead and get that cleaned up. First thing first that I always like to do is I like to go ahead and sweep all of the trash out of my sleeper so when i start moving things around i'm not just taking trash from the front to the back and from the back to the front all right let's go ahead and get all this stuff off of the bed in the meantime while we straighten the bed up watch this all right, so we got the bed done now. Next thing we got to do, we have to organize our big walk-in closet. Come on in. Let's get it. All right, so our closet is now all organized. Shirts are folded. Shorts and pants are folded. Socks. Undies. We're running low on those, but we got enough to make it home. Everything is hung up nice and neat. Give it a close. Next thing we gotta do is we're gonna have to go ahead and start sweeping the floor. What I like to use on my floors, I use the Dawn dish power wash on the floor. So this stuff is really good for breaking down the grease and dirt and everything. It all over my floors kind of like this. I did end up running out, so I do need to grab another bottle. I need to go ahead and make a list of things I need to get while I'm at Walmart. But after I spray that on the floor, I let it sit on the floor for a little minute. And then I'm going to get some Clorox wipes and some water. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of water on the floor, kind of like this. You just want to damp the floor just a little bit.
Then you just get you a microfiber rag and you go right back over. All right, so now we are nice and clean. Look how the floor turned out. Still has a couple marks on it, but it's way better than it was. Everything is nice and clean now. I can call this thing my truck at this point. This is gonna be trash that we're about to take out. These are snacks that I just leave there for the road. Let me show you an example. Boom, nice and neat after we throw this trash out. We got some waters. We probably got enough water for the rest of the week. Maybe, might grab another case. And then the sleeper is nice and clean. Up there in that corner, we got dirty clothes. Then we just got a couple pair of shoes, our work boots. Uh, Wi-Fi box is going to be up there. That's our Wi-Fi. And this is going to be our, and this is going to be our air fryer. We also wiped down and cleaned out our microwave, so it's nice and clean. And I call that a good job. So let's go take a shower. All right, we gotta throw this trash away. And then we're gonna go ahead and go over to the showers. It is hot out here in Dalton, Georgia today. It's probably about the mid 80s, high 80 degrees. So yeah, man. Y'all might as well just call me Kobe at this point cause it's like, I don't miss the warehouse part of Rosedale. If you guys don't know, there's going to be like 20 something docks. We have a little bit of freight in here. And a lot of time, well, all this stuff in here is going to go over to Canada. So as the Canada drivers come, they'll just stack the stuff up in here. As we bring the stuff here that needs to go to Canada, this is like the storage for it or whatever. And they'll store it in here. And then the Canadian drivers, whenever they get here, they'll LTL the freight back to Canada. So yeah, but we're almost here to the shower. Hopefully there's nobody in it. That woman shower is like, has been on all day. Cause I came in here earlier. What, somebody will be in it. Oh, nobody's in it. Let's go. This is gonna be your shower. Nothing too major. At least it's halfway decently clean in here. So I'm gonna see you guys when we get done. All right. So, we just got done taking a shower. About to head back to the truck. What time is it? It's three o'clock. If my truck is still out here, that means they didn't get to it today. So we're gonna go ahead and head on over to Walmart. So I'm gonna catch y'all when we get to the truck. Let's go. Okay, so we just got over to the Walmart. We're about to run in here. Um, go ahead and get everything that we need. It's not gonna be much because I only need it for a couple of days. But there's also a wing stop. So I might have to, I know I say do not spend money on the road, but I might have to get some Wingstop, bro. When you see Wingstop as a trucker, bro, it's like slim to none. So you know what I'm saying, bro? Do you get what I'm saying, bro? So I don't know. We'll see if I get it or not. That's all I can say. We'll see if I get it or not. All right. So we went to Walmart and we got a couple of things just to last us a couple of days. Starting out with the healthier things we got. We got some strawberries, some bananas. We got these salads. If you guys have not tried these salads, try these. They're actually pretty good. We got two of those. Then we got some cheese, some tuna, and rice. Then for the unhealthy stuff, we got noodles. I'm going to use uh, these muffins for my breakfast. More noodles, pop tarts. Rice Krispies and a can of Pringles because they was on sale. We also got body armor. Um, I like the body body armor drinks. And like I said, man, when you're a driver, sometimes you just can't resist. So we got some wing stop. And total we spent $45, well $44. So that's really not that bad because I can eat off of this for a couple days. And then the stuff that don't go bad, I'll still be able to have the rest of that for the next time I hit the road. So really $44, that's not bad at all. But anyways, we're about to go back to the yard. So let's get it. Matter of fact, matter of fact, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing another video. So y'all will see it actually next week but yeah that video that i'm going to be doing tomorrow is going to be crazy so make sure you guys go ahead like 
comment and subscribe on the video so you can stay tuned to every time I upload a video. And if you have any questions about SAP or just want to see the day in the life of a trucker, hey, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Anyways, we out.